is my voice like this? It's not, it's early. Good morning, you guys. It is once again the crack of dawn. I don't know why I keep waking up. Actually, I do because I have things to do. Okay, I'm like a productive member of society these days. I'm on my way right now to go get my hair or I'm getting ready to leave right now. Why do I always start like this? Like literally in a rush, getting ready to do something. I just feel like we're getting momentum building, you know? But I went to bed at like 3 a.m. Don't even ask me why. Actually, the reason being, I spent the night prepping my hair, did a clarifying shampoo, deep condition, detangle, moisturized it, blew it straight, and then like I put it in this little like twisty. I haven't had my hair braided in like, I don't know, eight months, nine months, a year? It's been a while. I don't know, but I'll see you guys when I'm done. Hello, this is me and my new hair. So honestly, I'm... I didn't show you guys yesterday because don't look at my forehead. I have like an eight head, it's fine. But I didn't show you guys my hair yesterday because I had gotten home and I was just like, I was so tired. I was in that chair forever. But my girl did her thing. Shout out to Maria. Um, but this is my hair. So I got Boho Knotless braids. First of all, they're maintenance. I started maintenancing the day I got them. But they're so beautiful. I got them super duper long. They're just down to my back a little bit. My house is actually really dark. I've been in like a little bit of a sleepy vibe. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing today. I'm actually just heading out for a little walk right now. I got these pants from Muji and this tank top is from Anthro Anthropology. So this is my little walk outfit. Hello? So I, I have no idea what day, like how many days it's been. I've just had like the most craziest, insanest, busiest morning, but I'm taking a little lunch break right now to go to the gym. I'm wearing these old tights from Forever 21, this workout shirt that I always wear. I'm trying to go do a little leg day today. Hopefully the gym is empty. I just want like a nice, peaceful experience. I just got back, well, I didn't just get back from the gym. I went to the gym, came back, finished some work, and I have this chicken in my fridge that I've been wanting to prep. I'm in kind of like a Mediterranean vibe today. So I'm prepping some dinner right now because I just know if I have like a meal right now and relax, like you know when you just know you're not getting up again, that's kind of where things are sitting with me right now. I have a bunch of herbs in here. Um, I have parsley, basil, and dill, I think, in here. I have this English cucumber. I have basmati rice. Basmati? I have tomatoes, onions. Basically, I'm gonna do like a Mediterranean-ish Greek style, I don't know, type dinner. I'm gonna roast the chicken, but I'm gonna let it marinate for now. You know what, honestly, let's just get into it because the narration, y'all are gonna see it. But whatever, we're going a little bit Greek tonight or a little bit Mediterranean. This little piece of onion that I kind of want in it. So let me see if I could like chop it up real fine and put it in there. I'm using two cups of yogurt for both of these but well this is because I just want a lot of tzatziki and I also forgot to buy hummus when I was at the grocery store and then I'm using a lot for the chicken marinade because I actually just wanted to marinate in a lot of this so.
my god. That was a mistake. Let's just do this. I just finished prepping my chicken. It's actually been a little bit of time, but I actually spatchcocked it because I don't know. I'm gonna put it in this stuff now, and I'm actually gonna marinate it overnight because I don't feel like cooking anymore. I'm gonna make my rice, but like all of this prep took forever. I'm not even gonna hold you. So I'm gonna prep this, and then I'm gonna let it marinate overnight and cook it tomorrow. And it's gonna be a lot better. I, there's literally no point in making this today. Cardamom, a little bit of cinnamon, turmeric, a lot of turmeric, some ground cloves. I'm just gonna keep stirring it and letting it like toast for a little bit. And I feel like the more toasted it is, like the better it tastes. That's just neater. This is gonna last me for a couple days. Like I'm putting so much effort in right now, but the reality is like I just don't wanna cook for like the next three or four days. And I feel like this is gonna do just that for me. So I have these frozen coconut milk cubes that I'm gonna put in here. Coconut milk and rice, to me, is just, it's just clutch. I don't care what kind of rice I'm eating, I'm putting coconut, unless I'm eating sushi rice. And then I'm gonna put like this much butter in it. This is rice. I mean, I have so much of it, so it's not but. Mm. So good. It's the coconut milk. It's the coconut milk. Nobody can tell me anything. It's the coconut milk. That was a lot of cooking, but it's very therapeutic. Honestly, I haven't cooked, cooked in a minute, like a whole ordeal. And I feel like that was a little bit of an ordeal, so. I'm hungry, I'm starving, I need a shower, I need all kind of things. But I'm so proud, I feel accomplished. Um yeah. Hello! Um, so it's the next day. I was cooking yesterday and now it's today. I'm getting ready to go to my dermatologist today. I haven't seen her in a minute. It's been a long time. I wanna just kind of get some like my skin. I've been breaking out a lot more on my cheek lately. This one has like recovering fine, but for whatever reason, this, I don't know. I don't know if it's the season. I don't know if it's something I've been eating, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. I think, honestly, I feel like I'm just gonna end up getting back on Tret. I was on it for two years, a few years ago, and I think it worked. I guess I gotta see how it works now, but I feel like it was really good for my skin back when I was on it. I've actually been working really hard on my skin to like get it to be healthy and like moisturized and everything okay i got 10 minutes i have a lot of hormonal acne down here or dark marks really not as much acne also i'm a big fan of tret and stuff like that in the winter time the sun goes down at 2 p.m i just feel like it's a good time of year to do skin treatments that are super aggressive at least for me because the sun's going down i'm not getting as much sun exposure which i think means that i won't get as much like damage potentially to my face because of what I'm using. I feel like if I can minimize the exposure that I'm having to the elements, then it's a lot better. That's just how 
the numbers work out in my head. I'm gonna put on some lip oil. So this is what I'm wearing are these little rings that I really like. And then I'm wearing this top from Aritzia, it's like their um, Babaton line. And then these like little slacks that I have on, they're like just loose fitting pants. And I'm wearing my little tote bag and then I'm gonna wear just some like regular sandals because it's actually nice outside today. I gotta go because I'm kind of late. I will see you guys when I get back and I hope it's a good appointment because, you know. So I'm clean. I got back from the doctor's appointment, put the chicken to roast and everything, took a shower, got myself ready for the night for bed because I'm kind of clocking out. But I wanted to show you guys the chicken. Actually, let me just show you the bowl. So this is the chicken that I roasted. First of all, it's so good. I tried it. It is delicious. And then I have some red pepper hummus. Actually, this is this is the one that I'm using. I really like SD. I think it's a good hummus, so I'm using this one. Avocado, and then I have the tomato, cucumber, onion mixture all right here. Then I have the tzatziki, and then underneath it I just have the rice, and then I have a bed of lettuce on top of it. So this is the actual chicken, minus the little part that I cut out for myself. And it only took like an hour, I think, and change to roast this, but it looks so good. I got a little char on it a little bit. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I kind of spent the majority of the morning just tidying up the apartment. I've also been not in like the best spirits this morning i just haven't been in the best mood and i feel like i've had this little funk kind of coming for a while like i felt it coming and i was trying to like be productive and still get things done because i just i just don't feel like being in the funk right now but i'm still getting up i'm trying to get a quick workout in it is almost it's 1 30 1 25 right now i might just do like a full body i'm actually going to a concert tonight yeah so i Brought some pants to go get altered last week and I called them and they said it was ready. I want to go get my a pedicure this afternoon and I also got to pick my pants up so... Outfit. It's from Meshki. It is, I don't remember what it's called. And then I'm wearing these like brown heels from Naked. <laughs> That's Lisa on the phone on FaceTime. She fit checking me. And then I have this little brown bag that I got from Depop. It doesn't really match. It's a little bit, you know, mm -mm. but I'm still gonna wear it anyway because I don't have another brown bag. But I love the little turtleneck. I'm wearing my little gold chain that I wear literally every single wear. Yeah, that is it. I have to go. Bye bye.
first of all, I don't even think I have a voice left y'all, but this is the t-shirts. This is mine. And then this is my scarf, which I did not use because it was really warm in there actually. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. You know when a clip grabs your hair, sometimes you let that part go and it just itches. Um, but anyway, I am tired. And I have to take a shower too. It was so good. Just everything. Set list was amazing. Everything from start to finish was so good, but whatever, I'll talk about this later. The one thing I was looking for the most, and the most, was coming home and eat my food. Like, also this outfit, yeah, she, she did her thing. Now, the only problem I have is I got these tailored, and I, get, I don't know if it's the fabric or what. I don't know, we're gonna have to chat because the pants are like still like they're still going down and it's really comfy to be honest and i like both pieces so yeah anyway this is just a very quick review of this outfit since i wore it today it's definitely very comfortable and it's also really really warm but the pants like they just keep going down and down and down and i'm like i just paid to get these like freaking altered I, if i if i had known that the fabric would do this um you know but whatever whatever just wanted to say bye bye you know close up this vlog and recap a little bit on the SZA concert it was so fun it was so good like she ate she devoured she fed she did it all but literally this is just where I've been today and I'm like girl are you serious I had one outing and here I am on the couch but I was productive this week so I'm gonna just having a do nothing day honestly by the way i did go by myself to the concert i don't know it was actually really fun and i've always kind of enjoyed that but i think when it comes to like things or events that i guess are regarded as or like typically considered group or friend activities i feel like sometimes that can like get a little bit stressful you don't have another person to be your social buffer i guess so you really have to like it really makes me i don't know for me it helps me to like build up confidence or whatever so anyway i just want to say to anyone who is like struggling or trying to do things on their own because you just want to be more independent and you want to see things and like i mean i still do things with my friends but honestly like some things other people just don't want to do or sometimes you just want to do something by yourself or schedules don't align just start small and take steps but yeah i was having my own little vibe yesterday and i don't know it's like what you gonna do like you gonna be with you your whole life so y'all might as well start kicking it yeah i will see y'all on my next video like subscribe comment if you want to do all that